Okay, we're rolling. Let's give it some flaps. And we're rolling. Here we go. She's off. Elevator separated. <sighs> Maybe I ought to just drive the car over there. <laughs> Elevator separated. Yep, they're just not strong enough. It's not strong enough. Fuck, look at this. This thing is totally destroyed. Totally. Totally, look at this. It just obliterated it. And that was the elevator. The elevator separated. And man, look at the battery way over there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Just totally obliterated it. You know, I think some of these kits, they haven't been tested at higher speeds. Look at this. Totally obliterated that thing. So what happened here, uh, in this F-22 I was trying to do a second speed test uh, at about two or three mistakes high and ended up basically in the same result where the uh, aircraft goes into the ground. There's another video where you can see the first one went into the ground. Um, while you can't see it on the video, uh, I did see the elevator depart the aircraft, okay, and that's what ultimately caused it to fail. I think in the first uh, crash, uh, the elevator uh, could not handle the, the speed and actually uh, caused the aircraft to roll, but, but I don't have any proof of that. But I do believe it's the elevator that is causing the issue. When I built both of these F-22s, uh, I chose to use uh, in-runner motors with 80 amp ESCs. So significantly more uh, powerful engines. And I'm guessing that uh, when LX built these uh, or tested these models, they didn't test with uh, that, that level of uh, engine performance. So um, I guess it's kind of to be expected that uh, potentially you could have a airframe uh, failure at uh, much higher speeds than what they originally tested. So here you see the construction of the, uh, the elevator to the fuselage. And basically uh, there's a plastic swivel piece uh, that is glued to the elevator and it's attached to the fuselage and, 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 it, and the elevator rotates around that. That, that. that little piece is only about maybe an inch, inch and a half I think long, right? But if you look at the surface area of the, um, the elevator, it's much larger and that piece does not extend very far into that elevator, right? Um, so at high speed, uh, that surface area can create a lot of uh, uh, torque and force on that uh, small piece. So 
Uh, I've got a, a free wing F-14 that has the same type of elevator. And what they actually did was in that area, they inserted a, uh, a plastic box basically into the elevator uh, itself. Uh, and then they inserted the, um, a metal rod into that plastic box um, to, to um, you know, attach the elevator to the fuselage. But that plastic box is probably uh, two inches by about three inches into the, um, into the elevator uh, itself. So uh, significantly more um, uh, rigid mount there than, than what's in the LX F-22. So here's the elevator for the uh, single uh, 70 millimeter F-22 from LX. And here, what they've done is to split the elevator where the, um, the forward portion of the elevator is fixed, actually attached to the fuselage and it fixes, does not rotate. And then the rear portion of it uh, actually rotates uh, around the front portion, which is fixed, right? So this definitely reduces the, uh, the, the amount of, of torque with regard to the elevator. Uh, uh, assembly and uh, seems to work much better um, other than the, uh, the glue uh, fatiguing uh, between that uh, fixed portion and, and, the, and the fuselage I haven't had any, any issues with the elevator uh, on, on the uh, single uh, 70 millimeter so in the future if, if I build a, the twin 70 millimeter F22 again uh, I'm either going to look at taking the uh, F-14 approach where I, I uh, insert some type of um, 3D printed box uh, into the elevator itself and then perhaps uh, inserting a metal rod into that uh, and, and keeping the elevator so that the entire thing rotates or to take the uh, single 70 millimeter where I'll cut the uh, elevator uh, in half and then the forward half will be uh, fixed into the fuselage and then the, the rear half of the elevator uh, I'll just put some engines and uh, uh, hook the uh, control arm up there.